All right. So I'll tell you about the trades which we had already taken up in uh, live market as well, and the one which I had taken in uh, in options. I'll talk about it. Okay. First thing. Second thing is that the trade which I have taken in the live trade in uh, equity only I had got enough. Like that PL has given me a good amount of money which I had sent you also. So let's uh, do that. Uh, whatever the trade I had taken up. So you can see uh, first I'll talk about the these three trades we had taken, Bata India, PEL, and Vedanta. So Vedanta Limited, if you remember, I have spoken in the I had told also in the class that I have taken this trade, but uh, again uh, this was a bit risky trade. So I because even I was planning to uh, I have to go for it or not. Okay. So though it it had given us everything, you a minute. So I had taken this quick trade on a smaller confirmation. Yeah, market has particularly started reverting. So it was a bit late trade for me. I wanted to go for it, but I got at this point of time. I was looking for a bigger target, and particularly I had kept a target somewhere near to not near to this level, somewhere around twenty one. Okay, sorry. So I had taken this trade at this point of time. Some I wanted to take it around four twelve, but I got at this price, so I got for it. And then I wanted to book my target somewhere here, but market went up, came down, went up, came down. So I had booked when it was not able to break this. I had booked my quantity. I had got around three thousand. With uh, that point of time, I had kept my uh, ratio around below this. Yeah, okay. So here I got. I booked it. Okay. This was a risky trade, so I had not told you that market would have reversed from here. See, I take the trade. I can take up the risk, but when I'm trading along with you, I need to go. With that trade, where I'm particularly very much sure, okay, this can give us a good uh, target, and uh, this entry is really great. Okay, so when I'm trading, I can take a slightly a bit risk, a risky trade as well, because for me, whenever I trade, the money which will go or which will come in, it will never matter a lot. Okay, what matters the entry if I'm taking, if I'm, if I have this gut feeling, if I have my gut feeling is backed by price action, then nothing can stop, and that's what had happened today also. And if you see also my uh, overall the trade, I had kept on updating also. This was your Vedanta Limited, Bata India. It was we had this in the live trade. You know the reason very well. Market started reversing from this trend line. Confirmation. We had this was a really great trade. I can say we had got good confirmation and we had gone for it. Market just reversed from one point, maybe setting up the target. We cannot say that it reversed, so we could have set our target somewhere here. Here we could have done it. ठीक है, but again we were expecting to come at least this level, but it reversed, so we cannot do anything. And then the plan was to exit as soon as this level around forty one was crossed, we exited. And if you can see also, I had one thousand quantity somewhere. So if you see Bata, I wanted to sell forty four penny over, then I went at forty three. And then I got around three point five rupees over here. Okay, so you can see over here. Then we had PEL. PEL, I had told also in the class that this is a risky trade, but I want to take up this trade because I had this key. Now it should be going downside. And if you, I have been noticing that PEL is having same kind of movement we were having in the Nifty Fifty. Okay, so at the same time, let me open another. so we had gone for the trade around when this candle crossed at this point of time i had taken the trade and that point of time it went down and after that i told also you guys ki this is a risky trade if you want to go for it go with minimal risk 0.5 risk theek hai and that kept my stop loss above this trend line because this is a strong trend line which is giving us a rejection again and again now when it went around this level theek hai i was ready to uh, Uh, I'm like exit from the trade, and if you remember while exiting the class also, I guess Anjana had asked me that uh, what what should we do for the PEL? I I don't know whether he is here. He is not here. Okay, some of you had asked me what should we do with PEL. So I told also if it is like hit uh, crossing this level, then you have to exit the trade. Particularly, it took rejection from here, and as soon as this rejection came, I went up with another one thousand quantity. Somewhere here, I had and one more quantity added up, so slightly I got it uh, at higher price. Okay, now when this rejection came, my stop loss was same. 
So if I had this point of time, I had a loss of approximately 13,000. So if it would have gone against me, then I would have lost around maybe, uh, let's say 15 to 18,000 max to max or maybe 20,000. So that is still in the, my risk appetite that I was taking, still I was taking when I had gone for this trade over here, I was taking uh, around uh, over here, I had taken 18,000. So that was around 1. Uh, 1, more than 1.5% 1 of risk. But I went at this rate. So this was a very minimal risk, which I had gone for 0. 0.32, 0.2% is risk, I can say, because entered at 2150, my stop loss was just 3 to 4 rupees upside. Okay, but my target from here was a very big. So it got combined and it was around 2215. See, over here, I had not averaged it. I have taken another trade on a conviction that key, I was very much sure that market should be giving me downside. Okay, and that is the reason I exited at my target. If I had to, I had uh, taken like, I didn't uh, forgot to take a screen recording or talk about it because I was not planning such. Okay, now you can see how the patience was tested. And even in the app also, I, I kept on updating in the group key. Now it has given us, it is important for it to sustain below 205 for next 20 minutes. And at the same time, Nifty 50 also, let me open Nifty 50. So you can see that Nifty 50, let me remove everything. Nifty 50 at the same time was giving us a movement towards upside. And I was telling also like Nifty 50 is just a spoiling the party for the PL. See over here when it went upside at around 1040, okay, it also kept on going. But now when it was coming down from uh, 1040, Nifty was still going upside. And there is a huge resistance coming around. I don't know from where it was coming, which I had not yet marked also. Maybe at uh, R2 it was. Okay. There was a good resistance. So if market would have broken this level, it would have gone at this point of time. First thing. Second thing is that it was not able to break. And because of that also Nifty was also going in the, sorry, PL was also going in the range. It kept on going upside, downside. Here I was at this point of time. I was like, Ki chalo, hai. at that point of time also, I remember the profit was going around 22,000 and all. Okay. Because if uh, one, like, you know, somewhere here I had kept, so one candle closing above this level, that means market can tend to change its direction first thing. Second thing over here, I was noticing PEL as well. Sorry, uh, Nifty 50 also, if you can see, even if this Nifty 50 was also struggling at this point of time. Remember, see the time, 1 to 1, 5, uh, almost uh, 1 to 1 for 30 to 45. Take care. You'll see this, this was also struggling and Nifty 50 was also struggling. Take care. So I had a, like, I was like, if it goes also good for me, if it all does not go, that is also good for me. Because the weekly target, whatever, let's say a good percentage of return, which generally I like that there is nothing like that. When I trade, I need this percentage, but uh, yeah, a good return. If I've got this particular month or week, I'm done for it. That's the reason I told also uh, tomorrow also when, uh, sorry, yesterday also when I got a good opportunity in Nifty, uh, bank Nifty, which I had analyzed also in the uh, market analysis, but still I had not gone for it because I had come, got for it. So even at 60,000 somewhere I had booked and went out from the market. Now everything was done. And I was like, if it goes good, good for me, if it does not go, it is fine. Take care. So I let the trade run like this only. So if you can see, I had uh, this two 2000 quantity and I exited at this, my order was set at 2175. I uh, initially I had set at 2174. I exited this around 136. And then I analyzed the market. If it falls, then definitely it should be coming around here. I wanted it to book here, but I thought ki, that can be a bit risky. And I could have taken other, let's say ki, this time, this movement I had achieved at three o'clock, right? So I was back of the mind. I was having this thinking ki, what could, what can happen from here? It's three o'clock we can see a huge movement either reversal can happen when i will upload this video of the screen uh, recording okay so you will see that and you will uh, feel it like it will be in the fast like uh, fast forward mode only but yes you will understand key what has actually happened in that okay now when it came at this point of time it was a very testing moment for like one and a half or oh, sorry half an hour almost from 220 till this level 245 it was a very testing moment for me Okay, 
so this was a pl trade which gave me the target and i did not do i booked it up till 2171 here and my average price was 215 somewhere at this point of time let's say so i had booked around 1 is to 3 i can say over here okay that got achieved now i'll show you the bank nifty view if you can see the maximum which i have got this is like it uh, in the pl because of pl only the profit had come up this much if you see this pl 88000 has come up so total of uh, uh, equity has given me around 1.1 okay so because of equity combined and when it comes to bank nifty my plan i will tell you what was the plan i had no trust me i had no plans nothing that ki i'll be taking up the trade so i'll show you few trades which i had taken and exited also this trade was completely taken based on the scalar as well and uh, completely price action now see what has happened first trade i had missed out because i was having live trade so at that point of time i was seeing but i ignored it because we have some other trade so here we had got an opportunity and it has given us a great target as well theek hai now after that you know back of the mind i was thinking ki you know i have planned ki if this level gets broken i have to go for the buy side this is the plan i had made if you can see this is the r2 has broken now it should be going upside then uh, let me show you all the orders actually then only you'll be able to understand properly theek hai so few trades i took then removed also so you can see nifty i had taken uh, nifty 50 at 168 time you need to see 12 1 around i had taken so here why did i take it up because market i was planning ki chalo it has gone to, like small scalping i wanted to do and uh, it went from here till this point of time so i booked around from here uh, if, let me just instrument wise i'll do it so you can see 12 once a 5 minutes mein i booked around 10 points and then i exited because again market was going in the range so i like i was not sure ki whether this level will be broken or not because if market has to everything was in our favor ye me se like everything is was in our favor maybe market would have broken i could have got good profit if market would have gone up side but i planned ki no just avoid because my plan was nothing ki to take up a huge target or something theek hai so this was one thing i booked this bata i exited at the same uh, like after the class only i guess yeah bata this is previous one now you need to see ओके अरे यार सॉरी बिफोर दैट आई हैड वन मोर ट्रेड ऑफ बैंक निफ्टी एज वेल सो फ्रॉम 475 टाइम इज 10:40 ठीक है टाइम इज 10:40 अराउंड दिस लेवल आई हैड टेकन दिस ट्रेड 5653 बिकॉज़ मार्केट वाज मूविंग गिविंग मी दिस मूवमेंट सो आई वाज लाइक कि इट हैज ब्रोकन दिस लेवल नाउ market should be going up plan is like that only double top small double bottom pattern has formed plan was like that ki if it is breaking this level everything was in my favor this is also pin bar the only thing was like that this resistance theek hai so i plan ki let's go for at least the scalping if we can go for it so i went for this trade and it slightly went downside as well theek hai so i was not wondering ki uh, my plan was ki if it has to go down this ema gets broken or let's say this level will get broken particularly if any of these candle would have got downside i might have exited my trade but what happened over here 400 quantity i went and then i exited after 8 minutes 440 right 36700 for a 1040 i went at this point of time and maybe i exited some here one minute Four ten forty one. I had gone for the trade, so I need to go with one minute time frame and see properly, because I do check on one minute as well. Okay, somewhere here I had gone, okay, and forty eight I have exited. I don't know why it came in the profit, okay, but yeah, I exited after this forty eight. I am not sure that why it in just eight because I am not seeing any movement. This is the point. Maybe the premium spike could have happened, ठीक है. But if I see forty eight पे कोई भी movement नहीं हो रही है. Still it has gone in the profit. I have uh, no idea. Well, okay, sorry, it was a P, right? Bad. I was thinking in some other way. Okay. Now see, uh, 
I thought it's a C. So plan was like uh, over here at this point of time when market slightly showed a rejection. I thought it was a C. So accordingly, I was thinking that would have been the plan for me, sir. Because I can't, I cannot remember that too. what was my thought at that point of time. So accordingly, I am seeing the price, time, and taking the action. So here it was getting rejected. So plan was ki ha, ab let's take this risk and went. And when it, this candle it came, I exited. Why? market is trending it is an upside move i may it may hit my stop loss so that was the reason i exited my trade i thought ki chalo theek hai it can go wrong market can come downside this is a good support uh, resistance level from here ho sakta like it can obviously possibilities ki market can come downside back of the mind it was ki it is a trending market first thing I had missed out on the call option. Let's say if I had to go for a call option, I could have gone, okay, and set up target around here only. That was missed out. Here the mindset would be, let's say that from here if it is reversing, I can go for the selling side. So not with the huge quantity, according to the just four hundred, four hundred. If I have gone, that means one point eight lakh somewhere here it would have taken, and exited by taking twenty. So these were the very small small trades which I was planning. Okay, should I go for it or should I not? Like this. So if you see thirty six thousand six hundred C, I went after that at twelve one. When I saw this movement, where is twelve one? Yeah, here I was talking about this movement. So here the plan was that market has given me this movement now. Okay, now it has broken all the levels. Retesting was done. Everything is done. So I can definitely go for the key. This was the plan. Key market is going up, so I can go for this trade. So I went with this position. If you can see. Thirty-six thousand six hundred, ठीक है, four twelve, and I exited this four thirty-six thousand six C twelve. I had gone twelve one, and I exited after after like for fifty minutes. I exited this trade, ठीक है. So you can see twelve o'clock पे I had gone somewhere here. I had gone, and I exited somewhere at this point of time because market was not giving me any kind of movement. So I had exited that trade. Then Nifty in between, I had uh, already told you, Bata. I cancelled this order because that point of time I had set the target and forgot to cancel this one. Now a small trade. Uh, once again, I had gone for thirty six thousand six hundred C at twelve fifty three only. Okay, twelve fifty three because what was happening? The back of the mind I was thinking that now this trade. Uh, sorry, over here I had taken up the loss. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That because one trade I had exited in loss also. So you can see that I purchased this call option at four thirty and I exited at four twelve. Okay, why? Because I took up this trade around twelve o'clock. I exited this trade as soon as it went because I realized it's a wrong trade. I should not be holding it. So that is the reason I had exited this trade in eighteen rupees loss. I had exited because I didn't wanted to take up this risk. Another trade I got in, so it, I went for it. Now there's a small trade five fifty three, twelve fifty three. Say five minutes' cut trade. Twelve fifty three trade, which I would have taken at this point of time mostly because market started reversing. So again, back of the mind, it started now. This is a trending market. Chances will be there that market should be going up. I went for it, and then I booked my profit somewhere here. It was not showing me the movement. So again, market is moving slow. Should I hold? Should I not? And at the back of the mind, one thing again is going that it came at this level. It came down. Okay, if it has to go upside. It should make a trending market and go. My plan was that if this level gets broken, I will enter with call option. Okay. By the time PL is still going on like this, so I entered and I exited also 4:35 pe exited. So PL I had exited at 2:74. That point of time market was not giving me movement, so I was like, hey, why should I? Why have I kept this target? Let's exit. Okay. Then I entered with P 36,713.37. One thirty-seven somewhere here. Why I entered one trend, like top it made again. One top it made. Rejections are coming up. First thing. Now let's go with the scalar. So if you can see scalar, like giving entry going up. Now one thirty-seven trade when I went at this price. It broke like one minute time frame. It broke this trade. My plan was to exit the trade as soon as if any candle is going upside, I'll be exiting my trade. That was my particularly plan. Okay, 
over here when i entered you can see very small stop loss i had kept and i was seeing that this market is in the range okay first thing see the quantity which i have gone and i'll tell you my i remember this thinking what i was thinking uh, when i was taking this trade i had gone only for 300 quantity so you can imagine that i was not having any kind of plan for any kind of bigger profit my plan was ki if this goes good i'll be getting good target so that was the only plan okay then i saw one thing that ki market is giving me movement but i'm not getting benefit over here so i added 46 i like i sold call option okay see over here you need to uh, you need to understand few things uh, i'll be telling you over here i sold call option obviously uh, to take up the margin i bought otm call option okay i exited this at 434 now see 434 what is the price for this one right now is 180 okay 180 is the price and over here 771 okay so this one has given me almost 350 rupees movement and from the entry it has given me only 180 it has gone right so almost 300 so a difference of this i thought ki no i should be going because let's say if the this call option will become otm right if the market is going downside this call option will become otm first thing if it becomes otm that means i might not get decay that much if my movement is like if i'm planning for this big movement okay so i exited this trade 467 you can see and then i entered i waited for a right time and i entered at 452 okay at two o'clock around i entered somewhere here when it started giving me this movement i entered at this price okay after entering at this price obviously if you'll see two o'clock nifty was going downside at the same time in five minutes also if you'll see nifty was going down so you need to see now pl around two o'clock it was i was not expecting from the pl that it is going to go, give me movement so it's so it's so it was like key nifty 50 if it gives me nifty 50 movement then definitely pl and obviously the all the stocks will be giving me movement so i was focusing on nifty 50 just so nifty 50 broke this level then i was like hey, this level is definitely going to come okay now it broke this level two okay and uh, next target i had booked around 610 okay i booked around 225 you can see this 225 as soon as it came somewhere here when it was going i booked around 600 quantity total i had i booked around 300 quantity okay because my plan was keep if i'm taking why i'm taking this uh till the trade over here because here i wanted to take my target was basically till here s1 or more than that i could have taken till here also but why i exited because of the time if I, this movement would have come let's say at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock i could have gone for it and here anything could have have happened okay now imagine i'll tell you also i booked at this point of time then i was waiting ki now if the market goes downside i'll book my profit and i'll exit if it goes upside and if i'll get another opportunity i'll enter once again so what happened uh, you can see this 467 and then uh yeah 16 i booked again i added 200 quantity at 580 when i was seeing let's look at the time 200 quantity at 228 ticket 228 somewhere when i in one minute it was showing me rejection so i got a conviction you know because nifty 50 was having good movement nifty 50 was having good movement it was not like bank nifty that it was very volatile nifty 50 was showing a clear downtrend direction and even when i entered i was very clear in my mind that if let's say how when do i have to exit from the market right how do i trail my stop loss if this level let's say maximum when it made this high ticker obviously if any candle closing breaking this ema i will exit my trade let's say this is the 0.473 may i would have exited so market just 200 quantity and this is the point i was having uh when i was at this point of time booking this profit it had crossed around two lakh at that point of time because if you see pl had also gone downside by 230 okay you can see 230 it had gone till 2186 then again it moved up trust me this was the most irritating movement i was like should i exit the trade should i exit pl should i book then i was like see my motive is nothing like 
today i'm talking about particularly today's trade my i was very calm this is one of the best trade i'll say because i was very calm i was not even wondering whenever i take some risky trade now i keep on uh, like you know, moving here and here i was just sitting and relaxing ki, okay i'll see whatever happens because at the end of the day no matter whatever happens i will not be going in loss that was the mindset the major important thing i have not yet told you okay so one like it kept on moving like this and you can see from 215 till 255 and this was the toughest this will be the toughest time for all the traders also ki where you have gone the directional should you book the target should you not book the target you have got like here the price touched around 2 lakh then from here 1 2 lakh to 1.50 it kept on moving it kept on moving and i was having very like let's see whatever happens i'll exit again back of the mind i was having this sense should i add quantity should i add uh, some quantity i should be adding let's say i was thinking that theek hai but i was like leave it i do not need to add quantity whatever happens okay i'll exit and you can see this movement is coming around 250 and at the same time pl bank nifty was not giving me movement but pl had given me the movement theek hai pl had given me the movement if you can see this trade and nifty was going also so pl had given me this movement so i was relaxed chalo theek hai at least in once uh, in one trade i am getting the profit right as soon as this movement came uh, while exiting the trade i lost few things okay so somewhere it got exited around 630 when i was exiting it was going around 650 maybe or 640 or 250 it was going around i exited this trade and it is around 250 and it is the high, highest but one major thing over here i'll say that ki i was not planning this profit i was not planning this kind of trade i just got all of a sudden this gut feeling ki somewhere i think i'll be making around 2.3 to 2.5 how i'll tell you pl trade i was a completely like ki okay it should if bank nifty goes or nifty 50 goes in my favor obviously pl will be also going in my favor so back of the mind price action calculation the percentage and all everything i was calculating the loss which i'll be taking it up theek hai so everything no matter whatever would have happened this today i would not have exited in loss why because uh the trade which i had taken even when it was at about to hit the stop loss pl okay at that point of time also i was uh, having a uh, what do we say it was in somewhere around 20000 profit it was there okay and now when it came in profit i just accepted from 2.3 lakh it had reached once just because my target had not got hit i had not exited my trade any of the trades i had not exited just because today i have decided ki no no matter whatever happens i will take up till the target it went beyond my target if i would have hold it let's say this is what happens right after exiting the trade if i would have hold it for another 3 minutes it would have gone more if i would have added instead of 500 i would have added one more 500 quantity i would have gone got more right but whatever i got i am happy with that and i can say one of the best trade because in the uh, terms of risk reward ratio not the profit but in the terms of risk reward ratio 1 is to 10 and in pl 1 is to 3 and a huge profit i will not when 1 is to 2 uh, 1 is to 3 but at least 1 is to 2 and uh, it's all the i can say today was like all of like if i compare the rest of my trading days and today i was very patient today i was very patient because i was not wondering i was not even checking the profit also i was just looking at the charts and relaxing okay so yeah that's all from uh, today's trade which i had